Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know the weather is probably getting a lot better where you guys are at. It's even getting better over here, nice and sunny in Toronto. And that means you're probably going to be rocking those fitteds a lot more often. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get that perfect curve into your fitted hat without destroying the brim because that's the most important thing. Once you destroy this brim, there's no going back. So sit back and I'm going to show you guys how to get this perfect shape into your hat step by step. So back in the early 2000s, wearing a fitted hat was like your Air Force Ones had to be straight out the store fresh and the flattest brims possible. As you guys can see here, I got these two that I've been saving for the video. These two flavors, honestly fitted hats are like flavors these days because everything has a theme. This one's pink lemonade. This one is not the green eggs and ham, but honestly it could be with that little pink under visor over here, pink brim over here. And yeah, it's crazy. All back in the day, you just wear it straight out that store just like this and it was supposed to look good. Honestly, I don't know why I thought this ever looked good on my head. People will wear it like this, people will wear it like that. People are still wearing it like this and that, but that's not for me. It does not look good on my head and honestly, when the curving of the brim started, it looked a lot better on me. Like as you guys can see here, this looks and feels a lot better on my head. It suits my head shape more and it's not sticking out entirely. I have a small head in general, so having that flat brim and with my face shape, it just kind of swallowed me, it did not look good at all. But when you curve the brim, it just looks better and it feels better. And obviously the side patches have been going crazy right now. This is the Subway series patch. And obviously you can't forget about the pink brims. Everything about this has been going crazy. It's been exploding in the last few months. And I'm just showing you guys how to curve it to look right. And just honestly, it just feels a little less like straight out the store and looks like it's had more character to it. That's what I feel like the curve does. It kind of adds a little more character and just feels better in general. These two over here that I have, I'm going to give out a quick shout out to still doing it. These are probably one of the best hats I've had in my collection. This one honestly is not my favorite and it's not the company. I just don't like the whole big patch. I thought this was my first one, my first introduction into like the pink brims and the side patches. And I personally don't like a huge patch on the side. But this one I've kind of tinkered around with and it's my best fitting hat so far. So this is kind of my little experimental hat. And this is the other one I picked up from Still Doing It, as you guys can see with the pins over here. This one has that white lining and has that peach under brim. This is probably the best option for anyone out there in Canada to get. This is a Canadian based company. I know in America there's so many options out there, so many places where you guys can get a fitted. But in Canada, honestly, this is probably the best company out there to get your hat. Still Doing It, they're doing a great job. This one actually glows in the dark over here and here. Like I said, it's crazy. Still Doing It, that's the place to get your hats. And this one, if you can't buy anything online, you're watching this video, you don't have access to a card online to buy, or you just don't want to shop online, that's okay. You can go down to your local Champs and get one of these over here. This one is from Champs. You can probably find one at Lids with their new side patch series and under visor series that's going crazy right now too. Go into your Lids or Champs or Foot Locker and they have pink brims too guys. You guys can see black underlining and side patch over here. This one's kind of like a play on the pink lemonade as you guys can see. So today I'm going to take these two hats for you guys and I'm going to show you how to break them in so they go from looking like this to looking like this. Alright guys, so let's get into this video. I think for the rest of the video, it's only right that I actually have a hat on my head, so I'm gonna leave this one up here. Step one, and I'm gonna tell you guys this right now, this is just a personal preference for me, and I'm just passing it on to you guys. Take the stickers off your hat. I mean it guys, take those stickers off, peel it off one by one, just take them all off. You don't need these stickers on your hat. They, It's not it's not the early 2000s anymore. I know back then it looked good, but personally, now having a worn in hat, making it kind of have a bit more character to it, that's the way to go. So take those stickers off your hat. That's the first step, guys. Don't leave it on there. If you want to, by all means, go for it. You don't even have to curve the brim if that's how you want to rock it. But I personally think it looks a lot better with the stickers off the hat. So step one, take all those stickers off, guys. Step two, you're going to grab your hat and you're just going to flip it over. You're going to put your fingers at the bottom, your thumbs on the top, and you're just going to slowly bend it in. You're not going to go to the center over here. You're just going to slowly bend in the sides. You're going to try to make the center touch, just like that. You're going to take the outer sides and you're just going to try to make a touch. You're just going to work your way in and you're just going to keep folding your hat. You don't want to bend the inside part over here, the center of the hat, because the cardboard in here, once it bends, it's going to look kind of like a house shape and you don't want that. You want that nice curvature to your hat. So you're just going to slightly bend your hat, you're going to keep bending it, you're just going to break it in. And that's the main thing. Don't be 
so gentle with it guys at the end of the day you could you're not going to break it entirely just by doing this as you guys can see i'm adding a little bit of force to it don't don't worry too much don't worry about this front part over here just work on the sides just get that shape going in there and that's the main thing and as you guys can see here the sides are also going to start to come in a bit and later on it does kind of stretch out a bit so your size will loosen up a bit if it's fitting super tight don't worry this kind of helps you break in your hat a bit so you're just going to keep doing that you're going to take your hands you're just going to keep doing that you can even flip your fingers around keep your thumbs on the bottom as you guys can see here and just kind of bend it in so you're just going to do that you're going to work your way around the hat and you're just going to keep doing that for all the sides of your hat so you just do that a couple times for a few minutes just watch tv or something while you're doing that and get that nice little curve going on your hat you can even start to kind of do this over here just on the back as you guys can see i'm holding it where it will kind of connect the rest of the fitted just with my thumb and index finger i'm just kind of bending it together and as you guys can see now when i put it on my head it's not going to be as flat anymore it's actually a little looser on the sides and that's okay don't worry at the end of the day your fitted can shrink if it was fitting just right and it isn't fitting anymore don't worry too much about that the most important part is you want that brim to have a nice little curve in it as you guys can see, comparing it to the J's one I have over here, it has a slight low curve in it now. It's nothing too crazy, but this was just a break in the hat, so it doesn't get all messed up when you do the next step. So the most important step in curving your fitted, and this is the only piece of material that you'll ever need to purchase. I'm sure you have it lying around your house, so you might not even need to purchase it, is some rubber bands. As you guys can see, these are the thicker rubber bands, so you want the nice thick rubber bands over here. You want to make sure they're nice and thick and you need at least two or three in my opinion. I would say get three. Right now I'm holding two but I'll show you guys how I kind of set up the rubber bands and how I put it on the fitted to give it that nice curve. So I'm going to show you guys that right now. So this step is really simple. All you're going to do is take your three rubber bands. You're going to give it a little bit of stretch. Just warm up those rubber bands a bit so they don't snap on you when you're trying to stretch it over your brim. You're going to take your fitted and you're going to put the three rubber bands on there and I'm gonna put it on there and I'm gonna show you guys how or where I actually put it because that does make a difference in my opinion so I'm gonna put the first one on and I'm gonna show you guys this right away so as you guys can see here with the rubber band on it it already starts to kind of curve it because it's kind of pulling it together as you guys can see right there it's already starting to curve the reason I say put three is because when you initially break in the hat you want to get it nice and curved and you want to get it curved in the right spots. You don't want that weird like house shape when the cardboard breaks because there's no coming back from that. But everything else, this kind of helps you curve it in all the right areas without messing up in my opinion. And I think this is the best way to curve it. So once you guys actually put all three rubber bands on your hat, you guys can see that the curve is already starting to form. And that's a really good sign. So I'm going to show you guys exactly where I place the three rubber bands to get the best curve and kind of like the most symmetrical curve in my opinion. I feel like it's the best way. You can also take your hands and just kind of squeeze it together at this point. Really get that curve going. And as you guys can see, that break isn't coming into the hat. The curve looks really exaggerated right now. But when you actually leave it like this it's and take the rubber bands off, it does come out a bit more. But it's good to have a nice exaggerated curve and then just pull it apart a little later. So as you guys can see here, this is how I set up the rubber bands. There's three rubber bands on here holding it. And as you guys can see, the curve is looking really good right now. And what I really do is I take the first rubber band, I put it all the way to the back, touching the crown of the hat, and I just put it straight to the back. I put about a finger space in between the first and the second rubber band. It's about the halfway point of the brim at this point, and you want to put it there. And then the third one, another finger space away, like an index finger space away, and you want to put it there. This helps you get the front and the of that brim really nice and curved, and it kind of has a nice little symmetrical feel to it. That's how I got this one to do it, and I honestly think this one has a really good curve to it. And it prevents the front cardboard from breaking, because you have it bending from all three sides, and it really gets a nice little shape going in there. When you put the rubber bands on there, you'll start to notice that your fitted goes from looking like this over here, like a more circular, to kind of like a more reasonable head shape. I don't know, maybe your head fits this entirely, mine doesn't. Mine's more longer than it is wide, so unless you have a wide head, um, it will, at the end of the day, it's a fitted, it's gonna stretch out, but it starts to take a little more of a regular head shape to it, in my opinion. And I honestly leave it like this for two days. I don't touch the fitted, I don't wear the fitted, I don't make plans to wear it, I just kind of put it to the side, and I don't worry about it at all because that's what helps 
this curved brim kind of stay in place and it won't come apart. I feel like it's the best way. I know you're excited to rock that pink brim or that peach brim or whatever it is. You want to rock it with that fresh outfit. But I would do this a couple days in advance of actually trying to wear that fitted out because it'll just look a lot more crisp, a lot more clean, and that curved brim will stay in there. Once you're actually done wearing your fitted hat, I actually put one rubber band back on there, the second one, and I just kind of leave it like that when I'm not wearing it. It just kind of helps that curve stay in place. You don't have to do that, but I kind of like my curve a little bit more exaggerated, so I'll kind of play around with it still to keep that curve in place. But as you guys can see, that's what's going on. You can even try it on so it kind of starts taking the form of your head. It's not going to be easy to get it in there with all these rubber bands because it's going to be a little tighter. But as you guys can see, it's starting to come together now and starting to look more like a curved fitted brim that I want. Alright, and there it is guys. In order to get this, alright, you're going to need to do this over here. And it's honestly not a lot of steps. There are a lot of videos out there on this topic, but I just wanted to make my own. Because I know a few of my followers out there probably do wear fitteds, especially since a lot of you guys like essentials and things like that. You're going to be on trend with a lot of things this summer and I'm sure you guys aren't missing the pink brim wave or the side patch wave in whatever way, or shape or form. So this isn't in anymore. This is kind of the way to go. If you still rock it like this, don't worry. If it suits you, that's your style. It's okay. But as you guys can see here, this is not working out for me, nor will I ever leave my house like this. Clean outfit right here. But this fitted does need a little bit of that curve to it to give it a little more symmetrical shape for my face type at least. And honestly look a little more clean out there. I'm not in the early 2000s anymore. It's 2021 and that is what it is guys. Alright guys, so that sums it up for this week's video. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know how your fitted turns out. If you're on that pink brim wave, what color under visor are you most excited about on a fitted hat? What side patch are you guys chasing? Subway series, your regular world series patches, whatever it is, let me know down in the comment section below and comment your favorite team as well. That is it for this video guys and I'll see you guys next time.